Hey everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we created this nice simple monochromatic color palette and in this video we are going to cover how we can actually apply that to a blank interface. Let me jump right in here. Let's zoom in just a tad. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start creating styles based off of our colors before we even start using them because you know it could become a mess when we don't have styles and it keeps everything nice and neat. And if we do wanna change a style in the future, all we need to do is change or edit that uh, original style and it's going to apply across the board wherever it is applied. So here, I'll show you exactly how that works. This is my primary blue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here to the style icon. I'm gonna press the plus sign to create a style. And I'm just gonna call this blue zero one. And I'm going to call it primary so that way it's under a new uh, heading when we actually go and select our styles. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna call this blue one. See it's under primary and that's blue one. I'm gonna do the same for the rest. So let's do this one. I'm gonna call this primary blue two. Call this primary blue three. Now for these, I'm just gonna call them grays. So we'll do, um, we could just say UI. Sometimes I like to actually break them up based off of their use case. So if I know that something will be used for text, I'll actually create a heading called text. And then after actually put that same color or duplicate that style. So that way when I'm actually using the UI in some way and I need to actually apply a color to some sort of text, I'll select that color style instead of something else. There may be another category called like background. So whenever I use a background color, I'm going to select from that category. So that way when I'm actually going through all my selections over here, so if you select a whole bunch of stuff like this and I go to my color selections, they'll be over on this side. I can actually easily pinpoint which one is text, which one is background based or which one's UI based. So I'll show you that even later on, but that's how I generally break up my styles, especially for design systems. So where were we? We were over here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to call this UI for now. We'll call it gray zero one. We'll call this UI gray zero two. Actually, I'm going to copy and paste from now on just to speed up my workflow. We'll call this three and we're just going to call this white. Okay, and there you go, we have all our color styles. These ones are under UI, all their gray colors and shades. And under primary will be our primary like blues that we're gonna use. So let's zoom out. And if we look over here, we have a interface. Now this is a resource that you can easily get from Figma. I didn't design this myself, but I'm gonna use this for our demonstration because it's gonna easily help us understand how you can apply a color scheme in such a quick and fast way. What I like to do is I'm gonna start picking some primary sections. So like if we start on the profile, all we'll need to do is I've selected this rectangle in the back and I go to my fill and I'm just going to select the color that I want. Even for the text, I can go here and I can select that for the white can individually select them. It really helps you keep your document clean. I like to really be as neat as possible because if I do need to go back and fix something, it really helps when you have like styles applied. So I may select that there. What else do we have here? We have the background color and we can probably select one of our background colors. That was the stroke that we applied there. We may need to change that stroke. So there we go. We'll change the stroke to something a little darker. And we'll change that to 
something like that. So I mean, already you're noticing that we're making some big strides with the UI. And sometimes you may need to go back. You may need to think that, hey, this is actually way too blue. So what I'll do is I'll extend it just a bit if I need that. I mean, I don't think you should necessarily have tons of grays or tons of different colors, but it's gonna really help you have a little bit more versatility. So let's go in here. We're just gonna disconnect this. And we are gonna go and zoom in. And we're gonna create an even lighter gray. And what we can do is we're gonna create that as a style. We're gonna call it UI. We're gonna call it gray. 04 and that's this one we will fix that in a second so we can just adjust them over here so now we have a nice nice kind of gradient going on and let's go see how that looks in comparison so we're over here and that's probably a little bit nicer if we want a little bit more subtlety same with the background over here we can even do the same so that's a little bit more subtle. I'm one for minimalist interfaces. I think they're much better. They perform much better than something that's way cluttered and colors that are way too harsh. So, um, okay, let's continue. Let's, let's see how far we can get with this. So I'm just going to start selecting all these different pieces or these uh, UI elements. So this is text. And I'm going to make it the dark text and, you know, we can even, will it let us? No, it won't let us because they're within frames. So that's totally fine. I'm just going to apply white here. And this will be like our primary. Nice. It's looking really sharp. Okay, we can do stroke over here. We can do just a light stroke. And the goal here is just to stay very consistent with how you're applying your colors. If you're gonna use this primary color in a lot of places, then you know use it for those use cases. Don't necessarily start sprinkling a different primary color somewhere. You don't want your users to get confused. So far, we're doing good. Now we can kind of move on a bit more. So that's there. Okay, so we're just going to select that. So we're using our primary color for like buttons or like backgrounds and stuff like that. We can also use, you know, our kind of like our primary blue number two for stuff like, like this. And what I like to do is to make sure that the contrast is good as well. So I know that this is definitely accessible. Let's check if our primary blue is accessible. So on normal text, it isn't accessible at the AAA level, but it is at the AA. So if we want, we can even go a little bit darker. It really depends what you're trying to achieve. So I think that's fine. Okay, where's another section where we can really apply a bunch of different colors. Hmm. I think we have a graph over here. There it is. So I'm going to use our blues. Oops. Oops. Trying to select them all while holding shift and it's a little tough sometimes. Okay, we're just going to select that. You'll see the selection colors down there as well. And it updated across. So here's our selection colors. This is an easy way to actually change everything at once. So if we wanted to, so that changed the text at the bottom. 
This is probably going to change the actual bar. And this will probably change the background. So if we do that for everything, we can probably go like this. So all the items are changed at the bottom. Let's see what this changes. Oops, that's a little too light. There we go. And this should change the actual bars. So we can do something like that. And I'm not sure what this changes. We can just set it to something. Oh, that's a border. So this one we can probably set to something like this. And white we can set to our white. And there you go. We can easily apply a color palette like that to our UI. We can even go further. That's a black there, so I'm just going to use that. What do we got here? Those are borders, so I'm just going to set them like this. That's a dark green. Set it to the dark blue. And we have a light, a lighter one, a lighter blue. And wow, what a difference that made. So, you know, you can continue with this interface, you can come up with your own, but have a go at actually creating your own color palette. If you want something easy to start with, start with a monochromatic color scheme and try applying that to a different interface or this one. This one will be available in our demonstration and I'll also link to the original as well. So go out there and have fun, come up with your own color palettes and try applying them and make sure they're versatile.